Hello students, welcome to distance learning with me and in this video we are going to learn about polynomials and this video is for grade 10 students. Now first we have to understand what is polynomial. introduction to polynomial now what is polynomial first a polynomial uh, is a word made of two words that is poly and nomial and the meaning of poly is many poly means many and nomial actually nomial means name but in mathematics uh, we we assume it to be terms so polynomial is an algebraic expression having many terms uh, so any algebraic expression uh, is an a polynomial uh, but there are conditions and uh, we will see those conditions also uh, let's move forward polynomial is simply an algebraic expression with many terms so polynomial is an algebraic expression with many terms but it has some criteria for it each term must be so polynomial has uh, many terms and each term must be in the form a x to the power n and what is a what is x and what is n and we will see it so first x x is a variable we know it x is variable and it is not fixed means it is generic okay it's a generic so it can be y z a b c it is variable can be uh, any alphabet from a to z now so x is variable a is A is coefficient and n it is important now n is n is n is index or a power yes definitely n is index or a power and must not be negative it must not be negative or fraction it must not be fraction also or it must not be any alphabet so n must be a number a pure number it must not be fact fraction uh, positive number it must not be negative and it must not be al uh, alphabet now let's see in which cases for example uh, let's see example of not a polynomial so if it is 7 x to the power minus 5 plus uh, 5x to the power 4 minus 3x cube plus 2x square minus 7. You can see this is an algebraic expression but it is not a polynomial because the index or a power is negative here one of the index is negative see minus 5 is negative so in this case uh, it's not a polynomial and another example for not a polynomial is neg fraction you can use fraction 2x to the power 3 minus 7 x to the power 1 by 2 1 by 2x to the power or we can write root x minus 5 now this is also it is also not a polynomial because there is one of the term has index or a power fraction one of the index or power of a, one of the term is in fraction so in our case of alphabet also 4 uh, x to the power a 
minus 3 x to the power 2 plus x minus 1. Now this is also not a polynomial because you can see one of the term one of the term the index of one of the term each alphabet. So in these cases these are the three examples where algebraic expression is not a polynomial. And for a polynomial the example uh, will be pretty simple. Uh, you can see on your screen uh, 10x cubed plus 5x squared minus 3x plus 7. Uh, these are all polynomials and each term on these polynomials uh, each term are on uh, is in the form axn. You can see 10x to the power 3 is in the form axn. 5x squared is also in the form axn. And 3x is also in the form axn. And 7 is also in the form axn. Now you may wonder how 7? Now 7 can be written as 7x to the power 0. So which is in the form a x n isn't it so 7 is also in the form a x n each and every term are in the form a x n a to a x to the power n so these are these are all these are polynomials now you can see x 6 minus 1 is also polynomial because 1 can be expressed in the form a x n as we did for 7 and this pi means 22 by 7 so 22 by 7 also can be expressed uh, in the form pi is equal to 22 by 7 and 22 by 7 now this can be expressed in the form a x n 22 by 7 and x to the power 0 which is in the form a x to the power n so each and every term in a polynomial will take the form a x n so hope you understand what polynomial means and uh, one thing let me tell you here 3 is the degree of this polynomial because the highest power in this expression is 3 a uh, 6 is the degree of uh, x to the power 6 so 2 is the degree the highest power uh, in the expression in the algebraic expression is the degree of polynomial so let's move to another slide uh, you can pause the video and you can note it down on your copy Now we are going to study about construction of polynomial. If you have forgotten, you have to remember what is divisor, what is a dividend, and what is remainder, what is quotient, everything. If dx is divisor of degree n1, px qx is quotient of degree n2, and rx is a remainder. It can be right, we can write just uh, simply uh, capital R for it also is a remainder. Then, uh, if it is number, then you can write just uh, capital R. If it is in the um, if it contains any variable, then Rx uh, you can write Rx. Then the polynomial here, polynomial is also dividend. You can call this polynomial a dividend in arithmetic. We call it dividend. It's a dividend and constructed as now before we uh, see how it is construction let's do one now uh, let's do one example on arithmetic now question will be 23 23 is divided by 7 now 7 3 is a 21 you can easily do this a sort of division and remainder is 2 now this is remainder this is our remainder uh, let's write rx for it Although uh, it doesn't contain any variable, and this is divisor that is dx, and this is a polynomial or you can say dividend that is fx. If we assume it like this, then this is quotient, it is quotient that is qx. So, although they are not in the form, you know, in there, we, they does not contain any variable, uh, we can suppose it now. How fx uh, is constructed how fx is constructed fx how can we find the fx or we can say 23 uh, let's see uh, not fx let's see 23 first 
how 23 is constructed now how 23 is formed now 23 will be equal to 23 will be equal to 7 it is not minus 7 and just it's an error okay so 23 is equal to 7 into 3 plus 2 isn't it 7 into 3 plus 2 what does it mean is it mean fx equal to dx 7 is dx isn't it dx into qx plus r you can write r also rx also r and x for it okay now see this is how polynomial is constructed the same thing we are going to see right now fx is equal to dx dot qx plus rx and then you have to remember this part you have to remember this and this is uh, very important uh, throughout the topic throughout the chapter uh, we apply this uh, concept of construction of polynomial now where n1 plus n2 is equal to n uh, this has its own significance in algebra the degree of divisor plus degree of quotient will be equal to a degree of uh, dividend or polynomial so degree of polynomial is n we will see this we, i will uh, illustrate it later on now when we can do a practical example algebraic example at that time now let's see position of polynomials on division these all are polynomial dx is polynomial uh, our dx is polynomial our qx is also polynomial and rx is also polynomial it is the number also it is a polynomial and fx is definitely a polynomial everything is polynomial and the, where these polynomials are positioned on old-fashioned division uh, you can see this and why i call it this old-fashioned uh, because we have the most easiest way to do uh, division on algebraic expression so that we will going to study later on now this is the old-fashioned uh, old school you can say we have studied in class 7 or uh, plus 6 this type of division fx and this is the dividend right here and dx uh, is right here now dx is here fx is here you can see quotient uh, there qx and all those process will happen here in process and after the process if there will be a remainder if if there is a remainder then that is a remainder if there is zero then the remainder is also zero isn't it and the remainder will be there uh, in every in every division there will be remainder and sometime it will be zero and sometime it will be another value so this is the position of the polynomial on uh, in the old older way of division and uh, dividing isn't it now this is the old type of division and it has demerits and so to make the thing uh, easier a new kind of division is uh, new kind of division is invented or you can be so let's see now example one find the polynomial fx if dx is equal to one and fx is equal to five and rx is equal to seven now in the previous slide we have seen one uh, one statement n1 plus n2 is equal to n now this n is a degree of polynomial and n1 is a degree of uh, degree of uh, quotient and n1 n2 is a degree of quotient n1 is a degree of division now our dx is divisor its degree is 1 its degree is 1 our quotient is also uh, qx is quotient so its degree is also one so our polynomial will be of degree you can easily say our polynomial will be of degree one plus one is equal to two okay and now let's see a solution the given values you can see the given value dx qx and rx where these dx qx and rx have their usual meaning now we have for any polynomial fx is equal to dx dot qx plus rx now the value of dx is 4x plus 5 qx is x minus 1 and rx is 7 and now we have to multiply thorough multiplication 4x and now x minus 1 is repeated and 4x plus 5 is divided 
you can see for x and 5 is divided our x minus 1 is repeated here and here so on multiplication you can see on multiplication 4x is square after multiplying this minus 4x plus 5x or minus 5 plus 7 Four, minus 4x plus 5x will be subtracted 4x is square uh, as we don't have another term containing x is square so 4x is square is written 4x is square uh, minus 4x plus 4, 5x and the, the value will be x and minus 5 plus 7 it will be 2 now uh, this is our required polynomial <coughs> So you have the exercise, uh, you can try these questions, you find the polynomial px, if dx, qx and rx is given, exactly the same way, in the same way you can do. Uh, let's move to another. Now there is synthetic division, as I said, that of the previous division as old fashioned division or old school division. Uh, now this is synthetic division is a modern division and it is done let's see first demerits of uh, our previous method and it's complicated process uh, you may get confused uh, what to put on the quotient side and how to put on the quotient side what values should be put on the quotient uh, quotient part so it's high risk of mistake and time consuming also and you the sign get complicated while subtracting and there are many things uh, so for because of this process this uh, these complications and these demerits a new division is invented that is synthetic division and now when a polynomial fx, this is a general polynomial uh, which we have supposed it's of degree 3, uh, right here, three, and divided by a linear uh, divisor. It's a divisor, dx is x minus a. Now, if it is a divisor, then what we have to do is this is a divisor, so we have to equate x minus a, x minus a equal to 0. We have to equate x minus a is equal to 0, so the value of x will be a. In every equation, we have to do same. Okay, it's it's not a it's a linear linear because the degree is one, so it's a linear a divisor, and x value of x is a. We need this a for synthetic division. We always need a, a value of a for synthetic division. So let's see a picturical a representation of process. You can see the process looks really nice. Coefficient of x cube uh, in the first column, coefficient of x squared, coefficient of x, and constant of. Uh, you can easily distinguish this is the coefficient of x cube, x squared, uh, x, and constant. So a will be here, right here, the value of a. Now, the coefficient of x cube is p, q, r, and s. These are the coefficient for x cube. Uh, we have written p. We have written q for x square, coefficient of x square is r and constant is s. Now let's see, it's a process and first the coefficient of, of highest, and, uh, term containing highest, term containing degree of polynomial will be written exactly same. Uh, it's p, then p is written exactly same. p is just dropped below and now you can see a and p will be multiplied, a and p will be multiplied and the written, the the return the product will be written right here that's ap now it will be uh, it will be complex if we write q plus ap now we have to add this because both have positive sign q plus ap so let's do now for our um, uh, to make our um, illustration much easier we suppose q plus ap as b capital b q plus ap because these are all alphabet so it can be supposed okay anything we can suppose q plus ap is equal to b now what will happen a and b will multiply you can see and the result will be written right here up below r it's ab now r plus ab r plus ab right here r plus ab is equal to c we have supposed it plus when we add it it is c now a and c will uh, multiply and the result ac will be written on the constant column now s plus ac s plus ac is equal to d now plus and s plus ac is equal to d now this d is called remainder okay now this is the way and we can we easily found the remainder and quotient there is also very easy easily we will find the quotient also in that method and this method there is a huge difference and it is much much more easier now let's see what quotient is a quotient qx is equal to coefficient of x square now why this is the coefficient of x square p times coefficient of x square it is p times coefficient of x square 
plus I will tell you why it is x square b times coefficient of x b times coefficient of x plus c constant is c now this in this way we can easily write quotient also we easily found remainder we easily found quotient also and now why it is coefficient of x square let's see it now our our polynomial is of degree a 3 and it starts with x to the power 3 and it is divided by x isn't it you can see x is equal to x minus a is equal to 0 it, it is x x minus a is equal to 0 so x is equal to a now a is x isn't it so it is divided by x now when we subtract now the remaining power will be x square so this is the process of division isn't it this is the process of division and this is this part is quotient so the after division the remaining value will be one one degree it, it's uh, the quotient always has one degree less than the polynomial now synthetic division there is demerits of synthetic division also the demerit is only we can apply uh, the divisor will be of linear only the only linear divisor there will be linear division. we can do division of x to the x square minus a okay we only we can only do the division of linear divisor only linear div divisor is used so this is a linear divisor then divide garne huncha to linear huncha jaile pani tesko degree ke huncha 1 huncha so that is the demerit now let's see what's happened here fx is equal to px cube uh, plus qx square plus rx plus s and qx is equal to p times uh, you can see p times x square b times x and constant so we have found qx rx is equal to d remainder is d and dx is equal to x minus a which is already given x minus a now we have fx is equal to qx dot dx the q and dx i can be written uh, this time here it's written qx is written in front of dx now it's multiplication is cumulative isn't it a b or b yes same result so fx the value of fx is this which is equal to uh, px square plus bx plus c for times x minus a plus d now the whole combination uh, while substituting the value we can see this combination now this is uh, this is the theory part uh, while we do all uh, uh, we take a question uh, proper question and then you will understand it very clearly now let's practice you will see one question if a polynomial fx uh, here it, the number will be used uh, in, in, in um, coefficient column a coefficient and divisor is always linear you can see and we have to find the quotient and remainder by using synthetic division solution uh, here the given polynomial fx is equal to x cube minus 7 x square plus 13 x plus 3 and linear uh, divisor x minus 2 is equal to x minus a x minus a is a general form of linear divisor so x and x get cancelled minus and minus get cancelled so a is equal to 2 or you can find a in another way also uh, you can do this like also here a minus 2 is equal to 0 you can equate with 0 you can equate and x is equal to 2 which will be a that will be a so a is equal to 2 i think uh, after um, after this question every time uh, this method will be used to find the a uh, this way is used to find the a we will use this way not this way okay now using synthetic division uh, if you have remembered the theory part then you can uh, easily do this coefficient of x cube because our degree is x we can do of any power okay the, by this division we can divide uh, divide polynomial of any degree uh, it's a degree 3 we can de divide do uh, we can divide uh, polynomial of degree 7 8 9 10 of any degree and degree okay now x and constant so our a is 2 it's there now coefficient of x cube you can see here the coefficient of x cube is 1 coefficient of s x cube is now just 1 if there is nothing then it's 1 positive 1 so we have to apply positive 1 there now see let's write the coefficient for x cube 1 x is for minus 7 x minus plus 13 and constant 3 and now as in the process in previous slide the first value will just go as it is unchanged 
and now 2 will be multiplied with 1. It will be very easier than previous one because there were only alphabet and but here is number and it will be very easier for you to understand. Now on addition or subtraction you can say minus 7 plus 5 will be plus 2 will be minus 5. Now 2 will multiply with 5. See the arrow 2 multiplied by minus 5 which will be written right here minus 10 and on on addition it will be 3 you can see and now 2 will multiply with 3 you can see by error also 2 3 just 6 6 will be written right here 6 is written right here now the addition of 6 plus 3 that will be 9 and this 9 is our remainder we have uh, we have to find remainder and we found remainder remainder to be 9 and we need quotient qx is equal to this is coefficient of x square because it must be one less power so x square plus coefficient of coefficient of x one less power and constant constant so one times x square uh, sorry. Uh, let's practice another equation if the polynomial gx is equal to this you can see here the power is 4 the degree of polynomial is 4 the highest power is 4 and a linear div divisor it's always linear it must be linear it's and fine we have to find quotient and remainder using essentially division now this question can be asked uh, in this way also if this is equal to 2x minus 1 dot qx plus r find the quotient and remainder it can be asked in both it can be asked in both way but the solution will be same now here we have gx and linear divisor is 2x minus 1 which can we, we can equate it with 0 equate it with 0 now 2x is equal to 1 and x will be 1 by 2 so that will be our a this will be our we have to find a now applying synthetic division you can see now we have to have coefficient of x4 in previous uh, example it was coefficient of x3 now x3 x2 x and constant thus now a is 1 by 2 you can see the coefficient of x4 is 2 and coefficient of 3 is 0 so why it is 0 or coefficient of x3 is 0 because the term entire term is absent right here entire term is absent we can rewrite this polynomial in this way also which is equal to uh, 2 x to the power 4 plus we don't have power 0 dot x to the power 3 minus 3x square plus 0 dot x minus 1 so we can easily see the coefficient of x cube is we can easily notice here the coefficient of x cube is 0 so 0 is written now next coefficient of x square is minus 3 and coefficient of x the term x is also absent so its coefficient will be 0 if any term uh, is absent then its coefficient will be 0 now constant is minus 1 as in the process the first term will uh, move unchanged now we have to multiply a we have to multiply a with 2 then our result will be right here that is 1 isn't it half into 2 that will be 1 now on addition it is 1 and we have to multiply 1 by 2 into 1 that will be 1 by 2 you can see and you have calculator you can use your calculator minus 3 plus 1 by 2 use your calculator and write in fraction also you can write in fraction I have written it in decimal form so minus 2 into minus 2.5 You can use your calculator minus 2 into minus 2.5 that is minus 1.25 and if on addition or you can say on subtraction it is 0 minus 1.25 1.25 and 1 by 2 into minus 1.25 the value will be minus 0 0.625 on addition it gives the value minus 13.8 now this is our remainder this is our remainder and to find quotient you can see quotient is equal to coefficient of x cube 1 power it must be 1 power less uh, it is divided by x so the power will be x3 plus coefficient of x square 2 2 times coefficient of x cube 1 times coefficient of x square plus 
minus 2.5 times coefficient of x and cos 10. 2 times x cube, uh, 1 times x square minus 2.5 times x and minus 1.5 is our constant. So therefore, coefficient will be 2 times x cube, 1 times x square minus 2.5 times x minus 1.25 times 1.25 is a constant. So in this way, we can do of higher degree also. Uh, so okay, let's move. Now, important notes are uh, these notes are asked as a short question. The degree of divisor on synthetic division is always one. So because and it is called linear factor. We have uh, already mentioned it. Uh, the difference between the degree of dividend and quotient is 1. So dividend and quotient, that also we have noticed because uh, we have reduced we have reduced uh, by 1. So we have noticed these two on our example also. So this is the important, uh, important notes and uh, the question can be asked like this. Uh, what is the difference between the degree of dividend and quotient uh, in synthetic division? Then you have to write the answer will be 1. And what will be the degree of divisor uh, uh, in synthetic division? The degree of divisor uh, will be always 1 in synthetic division. Now you can have to try these questions. You can see many more questions are there. Okay, now these are the questions. Uh, you can do it, you can practice it. Let's move on to another part. Let's recall. Um, uh, if fx is equal to a, this is the given polynomial, and we have to find the value of f minus 2 as we have already done in function f minus 2, f1, and f2. And now let's find here uh, f minus 2. Now Minus two takes the uh, minus two takes the position or place of x. So because it's input, is it? It's minus two, one and two are the input, and minus forty one is its output uh, as in function. Now f one you can see which is equal to minus five. You can use your calculator to check. Three. Now why we have shown this is now these values minus forty one, minus five, and three. These are functional value of function f. Isn't it? Functional, these are the functional value of function f at point x is equal to minus 2, 1, and 2. Simply, they are called output for input mass. Yeah, in function, we have studied like this, isn't it? These minus 41, minus 5, and these are the functional values. These are the value of the function, uh, fun value given by the function uh, when x is equal to minus 2, 1, or 2. They are called functional values. Uh, or you can say uh, when input was minus 2, the output was minus 41. When input was 1, the output was minus 5. When input was 2, the output was 3. But in polynomial, it is different. But in polynomial, it's different. Minus 41, 5, and 3 are remainder when polynomial fx is divided by linear divisor x plus 2, x minus 1, and x minus x plus 2, x minus 1. Now, how these these things are created? Let let's see. Let's see. The value of x was minus 2, isn't it? This is is equal to minus 2. The value of x was minus 2. So. The minus 2 comes to left hand side, it will become x plus 2 equal to 0. Now, this x plus 2 is used for the division. Is it minus 2 is, is used as a for division? So, x plus 2, when this a comes to the left hand side, it will be x plus a equal to 0. Now, this part is the divisor part, isn't it? Now, this is the divisor and it's a linear divisor. If the value is minus 2, x plus 2 is the linear divisor. If the value is minus 1, then it is x minus 1. When x is equal to 
1 is our input then x minus 1 which is also equal to a x minus 1 is our is equal to 0 then x minus 1 is our linear divisor x minus 1 is our linear divisor so these are the uh, remainders these are the remainders these are the remainders in a polynomial these are the output in the function but remainder in a polynomial when divided by the linear divisor when divided by the linear divisor x plus 2 x minus 1 and x minus 2 you can use synthetic division also you can use synthetic division I think this space is occupied so let me erase this in, in synthetic, we can use synthetic division and we can get the rem same remainder you can check uh, yourself also by using synthetic division and instead of uh, this is the a value of a you can use the value of a like this so I hope you understand this concept of linear divisor now let's move forward how let's study now how this is a remainder why we minus 41 and 5 uh, minus 5 and 3 are called remainder uh, we will um, we will study this on next remainder theorem remainder theorem explains it as all now let's see this statement if a polynomial a statement must be on inverted comma must be inside the inverted comma of degree n polynomial of degree n is divided by the linear divisor x minus n this is the linear divisor then f a is equal to r we have just done demonstration uh, on the previous slide and f a is equal to r is the remainder and it's closed by inverted comma now let's see the proof proof uh, it's easy proof a linear divisor is x dx is equal to x minus a now x minus a can be equate uh, we can equate x minus a to 0 that means x is equal to a we can apply value of x as a now for any polynomial for any polynomial how polynomial is constructed uh, you can you have already we have already done fx is equal to dx dot qx plus r this is the this is the way of construction of the polynomial now dx is x minus a now we have to replace the value of dx where uh, dx qx and rx have their usual meaning and r have their usual meaning so dx is divisor this is divisor dx is divisor and qx is quotient and r is remainder now we have to or fx is equal to dx is now you can see x minus a is dx and qx plus r now when x is equal to a when x is equal to a when the value of x will be a f you can see f a is equal to x a minus a because x is a x is supposed as a now f a a minus a a minus a is 0 so it's written 0 now f a now this part the entire this part will be 0 so f a is equal to a that's all. the remainder theorem isn't it now the value of a uh, given to any polynomial is its remainder now this concludes our remainder theorem by using synthetic division also we can find remainder by applying remainder theorem also we can find remainder now if a polynomial fx of degree n is divided by a linear divisor cx plus d then find its remainder now let's see a given a polynomial is fx a linear divisor is cx plus d uh, cx plus d we can equate cx plus d to 0 is equal to 0 now cx is equal to minus d and x is equal to minus d by c which is a which is a our a by the remainder theorem if you remember f a is equal to r is remainder theorem isn't it? Remainder theorem says that f a is equal to r. Now by remainder theorem, f a is equal to r. Now a is minus c by d, so we have to put f bracket minus d by c is equal to r. Now that's the remainder. This is our answer. This is our answer.
therefore r is equal to f minus dyc so this is the way to do okay this is the way to do other question also this is the, this is the method or you can say it's a process of doing next you can see uh, example 1b on your screen if the remainder of a polynomial fx when divided by the divided by a linear divisor is f e by e now here remainder is given and we have to find the linear divisor uh, it is just opposite of the previous question you can see these these are the very short questions and it is very uh, they are very important questions also. here by remainder theorem fa is equal to r r is equal to fa is equal to e now we can easily distinguish distinguish a is equal to minus e by f so our a will be minus e by f now this is equal to r isn't it many times we have done x minus a is equal to 0 that means x is equal to a now value of a will be the value of x isn't it now we we take this part only or minus e by equal to x now on cross multiplication minus e is equal to xf or xf plus e is our linear divisor and therefore xf plus e xf plus the question uh, which will if you have understood the previous example you can easily do these questions okay you can pause the video and you can note it down example two and now find the remainder if a polynomial uh, this is the polynomial is divided by the linear divisor x plus e. Uh, how to apply a uh, uh, remainder theorem? Let uh, we have to suppose this polynomial for uh, it will make uh, our work easier. If we suppose this as x, fx, px, qx, you can suppose any uh, you can give any name to it. A linear divisor is x plus 2. We can equate linear divisor with 0. x plus 2 is that is x plus 2 is equal to 0. Uh, we can equate it, then value of x will be minus 2. Which, we, which is our A. Now we have our A applying a remainder theorem. By remainder theorem, FA is equal to R is our remainder theorem. Don't forget FA is equal to R is our remainder theorem. So FA instead of A, we have to use 2 because the value of A is minus 2 is equal to R. Now what will happen here? You have to be absolutely, you have to understand absolutely it must be very clear to you now here it's input isn't it like in function 2 is input and x is our input variable now 2 takes the position of 2 takes minus 2 in fact minus 2 takes the position of minus 2 takes the position of x wherever there is x 2 like it is the input and variable is x is input variable so input value takes the input variable now you can see in the box also uh, in the box it's written as if you are worried about uh, what happened in this step, then the box is there to help you. Here, x of polynomial f is replaced by minus two. Minus two. You can you can make a small note on the side of a page on where you are doing this question. You can write it there. And now on calculation, you can have your calculator. Uh, you can apply it. Minus forty four is the answer. If it's different answer, then also it's okay. Remainder R equal to one. Now this is the exercise. Try this. There, uh, I think there are many questions. Use remainder theorem to find the remainder. Now these all equation you can do easily. Okay. Now let's move. Example 3. Now, when a polynomial 2x cubed plus 3x squared minus 
kx plus 4 is divided by x minus 2, the remainder is 2k. Now here, in this, in this question, remainder is given and we have to find the value of k. Now this is linear division. We all know this is a polynomial. Now we have to apply the remainder theorem. Here fx is equal to 2x cubed plus 3x squared minus kx plus 4. And a remainder r is equal to 2x. A linear divisor is x minus 2. We can equate x minus 2 with 0. x minus 2 equal to 0. x is equal to 2 which is equal to a. Now we need this a by applying a remainder theorem. Applying a remainder theorem. f a is equal to r now or f2 is equal to r because value of you can see value of a is 2 so it 2 now all the x of a polynomial uh, polynomial f will be replaced by 2 all these x all these x of polynomial will be replaced by 2 now or 2x cubed plus 3 2x square all the x are replaced by 2 on calculation you can see 2.8 3.4 minus 2 these are the calculations. The, all the value on the left hand side is 32 is equal to 4k. How it is 4k? Because the minus 2 goes to right hand side and 2 plus 2k plus 2k, 4k. 32 by 4, we can cancel 4 1 the 4, 4 8 32. So our answer example. Similar kind of example to previous example. Uh, this is example 4 and the question is on your screen. If a polynomial x cubed minus a x square minus 2x plus 2a plus 6 leaves a remainder a plus 2. Now that's a remainder a plus 2 is a remainder. So it's it can be written as r and this is a polynomial we can suppose fx or you can suppose px also. So fx is there and divided by then uh, this is the answer 4 is the answer divided by linear factor x minus a our linear uh, uh, it's a divisor linear divisor is x minus a let's see the solution first we have to suppose uh, the polynomial let's give a name to it let fx is equal to this is our polynomial and remainder a remainder r is equal to you can write rx also a plus 2 and we have our remainder theorem Okay, linear div divisor is x minus a. It is a linear divisor because it has its uh, degree 1. That is x minus a. We can equate linear divisor to 0. Then x is equal to a. That's our a. So we don't, <coughs> we don't have to suppose anything. Now applying remainder theorem which is fa is equal to r. Our remainder theorem is fa equal to fa is equal to r. So, applying remainder theorem fa is equal to r. Now, now it's like input a. So, all the x will be replaced by all the x will be replaced by a. All these x will be replaced by a. x will be replaced by a. So, it is replaced. Now, on simplification, let's see the simplification. a cube minus a cube this is a cube see it is a, a cube there are three a so base is same so power are added a cube a cube 2a 2a and we can cancel a cube and a cube 2a and 2a now you can see it's a cancellation 2a and 2a or 6 minus 2 is equal to a and a is equal to 4 Therefore, a is equal to 4. Now, value of a is 4. Now, this, this is a similar uh, example three and for you. Are a fairly similar. Uh, so these are very important. Let's move on to another two marks. And now, there is another question. In question number 4, you can see. In question number 4, a little bit diff different than other other three. Uh, now, here, there is a hint. Value of a is 2. So, this input is 2. And r is equal to 8. Now, all other steps will be same. If we understand, if you understand uh, the f, uh, when f2 is equal to 8, 5, given, then this 2 is a polynomial. And there are two polynomials right here. If you can use see this, the polynomial, and this is then one of we the can polynomial, easily find and the this is another okay. polynomial. Now let's move forward. There are two polynomials, and leaves equal remainder, then their remainder are equal. 
So if, if the remainder of this polynomial is R1 and the remainder of this polynomial is R2, then R2, then R1 is equal to R2. It's the given condition from quotient. What we understand is R1 is equal to R2. Then we can easily find the value of A. Now let's see. Let's give name to both of the polynomials. Fx is equal to x cubed minus Ax uh, squared plus 8x plus 11. Uh, and for another polynomial and gx. And let's name it gx to x cubed minus Ax squared plus 7ax plus 13. Now these are the name and our linear factor is x minus A. It, this is this is for both uh, the polynomial fx and gx linear divisor it's in the divisor x1 and we can equate x1 to 0 that is x1 minus 1 x minus 1 equal to 0 and x is equal to 1 which is a it's the value of a we didn't suppose a because a is already present in the quotient so uh, that's the region we supposed K. Now our remainder theorem will be fk is equal to r. Okay, don't get confused. That a is a generic name. We can suppose any other value also. So xk is equal to as a is already present in the quotient, and there is a in the quotient. So to avoid confusion, uh, we supposed and to be k, you can suppose p also, b also, etc. Now applying a remainder theorem, remainder theorem. On fx. Now, first we apply remainder theorem on function on polynomial. Sorry, polynomial fx. Then we apply a remainder theorem on polynomial uh, gx. Now, for fx, f1 is equal to value of k is one. Then all this is one equation one, and all the x of polynomial f will be replaced by one. All the x of polynomial f will be replaced by one. Listen again. All the f, all the x. Of polynomial f will be replaced by 1. Now you can see applying remainder theorem again for g theorem for on g a polynomial gx gk is equal to r same thing fk is equal to r gk is equal to r now value of k is g1 is equal to g1 is equal to r now both are r isn't it both are r it's equation 2 and we we can say f1 is equal to f1 is equal to g1 and in this in this part all the x of polynomial g will be replaced by 1 all the x of polynomial g will be replaced by 1 so from 1 and 2 equating 1 and 2 we can you can say uh, 1 and 2 from 1 and 2 equating 1 and 2 and f1 is equal to uh, g1 because both are equal it is according to equation now or all the x of function f will be replaced by 1 1 see this is x now x squared plus 8 dot x that is 1 plus 11 is equal to 2 uh, now it's value of x 1 cube minus a value of x 1 plus 7 a dot a and value of x plus 13 on simplification it is 1 1 cube is 1 minus a plus 8 plus 11 is equal to 2 minus a plus 7a plus 13 all the a will be on one side 20 now this is 20 8 8 this the addition is 20 and this addition is 15 and this subtraction is 6a and a is it. now let's see or 20 minus 15 is equal to 6a plus a now that is 5 is equal to 7a now a is equal to 7 5 by 7 that's our answer this is our answer now it's practice example for you similar type okay, of question is given on to another to question you. for you to practice exactly similar steps exactly similar way of doing you can easily do these questions example 6 a polynomial this now you can see 2x cubed plus ax square minus b leaves the remainder 0 and 42 when divided by this now there are Two linear divisor. There are divisor, two divisor, one by one. We have to apply this divisor, and they leave remainder zero. Means uh, 
when divided by x minus 2 the remainder will be 0 and when divided by x minus 3 the remainder will be 42 now the fair step is exactly similar step now let's give name to the given polynomials fx for 1 uh, we, have, we have only one polynomial and case 1 for remainder 0 uh, when remainder is 0 now linear divisor is x minus 2 and this divisor can be equated to 0 x is equal to 2 is equal to a and we suppose the divisor to be a we always do that here you can suppose k also because a is already present in the question we can suppose uh, k but if we want be confused then we can suppose a uh, applying remainder theorem f a is equal to r that is f2 is equal to r now value of a is 2 so f2 is equal to r now what we have to say is all the x of polynomial f will be replaced by 2 all the f all the x sorry all the x of polynomial f will be replaced by 2 now see this is the value of 2 this is the value of 2 whichever in the bracket is the value of x uh, not value of 2 value of x uh, whichever is written in the bracket you can see it's the bracket that's the replacement for x it is the replacement for x now we can form our equation 16 plus 4a plus minus 22 uh, plus b we can form an equation now 4a plus b minus 6 is equal to 0 or or 6 goes to right hand side 4a also goes to right hand side and this is our equation a we have the value of b and now again case 2 in similar way case 2 remainder 42 uh, we, we are going to apply the remainder 42 linear divisor is x minus 3 this time it is x minus 3 x minus 3 yeah, it's a mistake let's correct it linear divisor is x minus 3 x minus 3 uh, now or x is equal to 3 is equal to a now applying remainder theorem which is f a is equal to r now that is f3 is equal to 42 r is the value of r is 42 42 not 43 our value of r is 42 and a is 3 so f3 is equal to r now what we have to say all the x of function f will be replaced by 3 all the x of function f will be replaced by 3 now see just the, the whichever in the bracket is the replacement for x now this is the replacement for x all the value on the bracket value on the bracket is the replacement of x now on simplification 54 minus plus 9a minus 33 plus b is equal to 42 now we form an equation right here 9a plus b is equal to 21 9a plus b is equal to 21 now we have we can replace the value of b as 6 minus 4a you can see 6 minus 4a which is on equation 1 now putting value of b from 1 now or 9a 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 this 9a is itself now this whichever in the bracket is the replacement for b a replacement for b now on opening bracket now on subtraction i a that is 15 and a is equal to 3 a value of a is equal to 3 15 by 5 is equal to 3 we found the value of a it's easy and it can be asked in four marks question as a four marks question also so as there are two remainder and two linear dividers so we have to do we have to apply case one and case two oh, we have to find the value of b also we are not finished yet now putting the value of a in equation one b is equal to six minus four into three now uh, three is the replacement for a b is equal to on calculation six minus two that is minus b. therefore b is equal to minus six i hope you understand another question Try this. There is only one question for you. Uh, let's recall uh, what we studied in arithmetic, what we did in arithmetic. Now let's see. Let's divide 27 by 3. Now it goes by 9. That is minus. It's 0, isn't it? Now 3 exactly divides 27. Let's remainder is 0. 3 exactly divides 27. Uh, so it goes. By 9 so remainder is 0 now again let's divide 27 same 27 by 5 now 5 5 to 25 and we have a remainder that is 2 our remainder is 2 now 5 does not does not it divides 27 but not exactly not without leaving a remainder so let's see dividend is 27 
uh, in case uh, in algebra we call it polynomial is 27 a divider are uh, 3 and 5 and when we divide by 3 uh, we the remainder is 0 and when we divide by 5 remainder is 2 and that's our conclusion from this division 3 divides 27 exactly that is remainder r equal to 0 5 gives this observation and 3 is a factor of 27 as it is it gives remainder 0 5 is not a factor of 27 as it gives remainder now what we can conclude is if remainder is 0 then the div the divisor will be the factor of dividend that's our conclusion If we <coughs> find the value of minus, let's find, let's recall this part again here. You can see fx is equal to and f minus 2, value of minus 2, it's 0, a remainder is 0, isn't it? Now, again, remainder is 0. This is remainder, we know this by, uh, these are remainder, we, as we know from our remainder theorem, isn't it? We have already studied remainder theorem, so uh, these values are remainder. <coughs> now, these values are remainder. You can see a remainder r equal to 0. Now when x minus 2 then f minus 2 is equal to 0 and when this is the conclusion from this above <coughs> solution x is equal to 1. Now what does it mean is x is equal to minus 2 1 5 are the roots or 0 of polynomial fx. Now these values of x makes a polynomial 0 gives the value of polynomial 0 so they can they are the roots or zeros. Now it is not difficult to understand what are roots and zeros. Those values of x which makes the polynomial, which uh, makes the polynomial zero, then those values are roots or we can say zeros of polynomial. And how many zeros are there of a polynomial uh, having power, how having degree three? Then there will be three zeros. Again, this is a polynomial of degree three, and it has three zeros, means it has three roots. If if it is a quadratic equation or a polynomial, you can say then it, it has only two roots. So roots are those values of x which makes a polynomial zero. And if the polynomial is zero by a certain uh, certain value of x, then that value forms a linear. That value forms a linear uh, divisor linear divisor now in this case x is equal to minus 2 this x is equal to minus 2 makes f f minus 2 0 so we can say x plus 2 equal to 0 linear divisor yeah, can be equated to 0 we have done many questions about it so what we can say is x plus 2 is a factor x plus 2 this is the value of a isn't it and linear uh, divisor always takes the form x minus a now we have, can replace the value of a, this is a linear divisor, then that will be x plus 2 is a linear divisor. Now this linear divisor can be called factor because the remainder is 0. This linear divisor, we can call this linear divisor a factor because a factor of polynomial fx as it gives at, as it leaves remainder 0. <coughs> now you can see that same thing we have dis just discussed. Now x are the linear factors formed by x equal to 0 as x are the roots of polynomial fx to another theorem uh, knowing roots and 0 uh, once more if, if there is any confusion for any polynomial in x fa is equal to 0 then x minus a is a factor and a is the root or 0 of polynomial if this value of a makes and if this value of a makes a um, mix of polynomial 0 gives the value of polynomial 0 then this are uh, these is the roots of polynomial or zeros of polynomial now fx is equal to 10 now f2 is equal to 0 is equal to 0 isn't it here minus 2 is a root or 0 of fx now what Tom understood you can see minus 2 makes a value of polynomial fx 0 so it is called root or 0 of polynomial simple isn't it that is a is equal to minus 2 now this value is a a is equal to minus 2 we know x minus a is a linear factor now x the value of a, we replace the value of a to be uh, minus 2 that means x forward to a theorem i think it's a factor theorem a factor theorem a statement if a polynomial fx of degree n greater than 1 the polynomial must be of degree greater than 1 because the linear factor uh, the degree of linear factor is 1 so the polynomial the dividend must be uh, the degree of the dividend must be a dividend or polynomial must be greater than 1 factor and now you can see linear factor x minus a and remainder r equal to 0 then x minus when remainder is 0 then only x minus a is the factor of fx when remainder is 0 then only x minus a is factor of fx or we can say 
if x minus a is a factor of fx, then remainder must be 0. Conversely, we prove this uh, statement in both way. Here fx is equal to, here r is equal to fx, fa is equal to r, it's a given part. dx is equal to x minus a, linear divisor, we suppose we give the name dx as it's the usual meaning for it. For any polynomial, we have fx is equal to this, we have already studied this part. Now when dx have the usual meaning, so we know it, or fx is equal to x minus a plus remainder is 0, isn't it? When remainder is 0, then we can see the calculation from 1, and we need this. Now it's dividing both sides by x minus a. This is step is dividing both sides. We divided both sides by x minus a, so we can cancel x minus a, x minus a. The cancellation is shown. Now fx by a is equal to qx, isn't it? It exactly divides this polynomial, it's lifts, isn't it? Now, this is the quotient. Hence, x minus a is a factor of x minus a. It exactly divides, uh, it exactly divides the polynomial fx. So, x minus a is a factor of fx. Now, conversely, and we go in the opposite way. Now, we go in opposite way since x minus a is a factor of fx, con then x minus a is equal to 0, x is equal to a. Now putting the value of x in equation 1. Here we can apply the value of x. Now you can see after applying the value of x, a minus a, a minus a, then that is 0. So now let's move to another. Always remember, and now there is Jerry. You can see. What Jerry says, I know. In her remainder theorem, theorem, it is just f a is equal to r. Now this is what Jerry says, and what Tom says. Let's hear. Let's read. I know. Uh, in factor theorem. We have to remember this thing fa is equal to r and fa is equal to 0. It is just fa is equal to 0 equal to r. I think. Example 1. Now the example starts for factor. Okay. If fx is equal to x minus c and qx this, uh, this is a very short question. x minus c is a factor. Here x minus c is given as a x minus c is given as a factor of polynomial fx then we have to find the value of rx which is remainder and then and this is a one marks question so if you have understood everything then you can directly write the value of rx will be zero since x minus c is a factor or you, you can if you want to see the process uh, you can see here Here fx is given as x minus c dot qx plus rc. Now, since x minus c is a factor of is a factor of fx, uh, that is x, x minus c is equal to zero, we can equate the factor. Up to now we have called a linear divisor. Now we call it a factor because it's given in the question. Linear divisor. Uh, at that time was not a factor because it leaves the remainder. Now here, right here, it does not leave the remainder. It's factor. It's given in the quotient, so we call it a factor. Previously, we called it a linear divisor. Now x is equal to c equal to a by applying factor theorem. F a is equal to zero, isn't it? F a is equal to zero. Now value of a is c. C is equal to zero. Now that C is a remainder. Okay, now let's move on to another example. The example, uh, example 2. So the example 2 is on your screen. And these are the examples related to a factor theorem. If fx, dx and qx have, uh, usual, have usual meaning, that means fx is a polynomial of a degree n and dx uh, is a divisor and qx is the quotient. degree of dx plus degree of qx will be equal to degree of fx have usual meaning and dx is a factor of fx so it is a factor it is a linear factor and then write the relation between them uh, let's see for n polynomial we have 
fx is equal to dx plus r. But as dx is a factor of uh, fx, then what we can say is the value of r will be 0 because dx is already a factor of fx. Since dx is a factor of fx, r is equal to 0, and by factor theorem, uh, fx is equal to dx plus qx. Now the value of r will be 0. So the next, it is not necessary example to write. The relation between fx, dx, is and qx is x minus 2, uh, a factor of polynomial this. Now that's this is the, right now, now this is a linear divisor. It's not a factor. Now we have to check uh, whether it is a uh, factor or not. Uh, to do this, we have to apply the factor theorem. If the remainder is 0, then obviously x minus 2 is a factor of the given polynomial. And if x min, uh, if uh, if remainder is not 0, uh, then it is not a factor of polynomial, given polynomial. Let's for at first let's give a name to the given polynomial let fx is equal to 2x cubed plus 3x squared minus 11x minus 6 and x minus 2 is a linear divisor right now it's not a factor we have to check it whether it is factor or not now linear divisor can be equated to 0 x minus 2 is equal to 0 and now x is equal to 2 is equal to a now this value is a now applying uh, we wish to show actually uh, we wish to show fa is equal to 0 our motive is to show fa is equal to 0 that means f2 is equal to 0 if we can show f2 is equal to 0 then we can say x minus 2 is a, a factor of given polynomial fx otherwise it is not a factor and now let's see now f2 is equal to all the 2 all the x will be replaced by 2 you can see uh, all the, all those value on bracket all those value inside the bracket are the replacement for x they are the replacement for x. So the intercalculation, you can see intercalculation is that's uh, 28 cancellation cancels 28. That means it's a zero. Now what we wish to show is f a is equal to zero. That is f two is equal to zero, and our wish is granted. So our wish is granted. That means x minus two is a factor of fx it's according to those exercises exercise now it's easy and i think uh, these are there the will be exercise another exercise example four uh, x now there are two um, in now, question number five you can uh, see the third question is very important because one by one. we have to find okay, the value of one, one variable, variable right time, time, but it's a is already easy. given so our linear factor will be x minus c or x minus k uh, we can suppose anything um, now let's start the solution and let's give a name to the function. It's fx is equal to 2x cubed minus ax squared minus 8x plus 5. Now x plus 1 is our linear factor. A linear divisor. We can say factor because it's already given on the function. So x plus 1 is a linear factor. We can write, we can use that word factor right now because it's already given in the question factor. It's a linear factor. We can use that word. Now, linear factor or linear divisor, it can be uh, equated to 0. x is equal to, uh, you can see x is equal to minus 1 on your screen. x is equal to minus 1, which is C. Because already A is present in the equation, we can use A also. Uh, but better to uh, apply, uh, better to use a different alphabet. It's better to use a different alphabet. So, by factor theorem, uh, F C is equal to 0. So it's the factor theorem. That's the uh, statement for a factor theorem. Now, uh, this is a frequently asked uh, question from the student, and that uh, some may get confused that FC is equal to zero. It is better. A uh, letter A is already present in the question. So uh, because A is already present in the question, we uh, uh, we choose to use another uh, alphabet. Now FC is equal to zero, or FC now. The value c is minus 1, and f minus 1 is equal to 0. Now, all the x of function f will be replaced by minus 1. All the x, all x of function f is replaced by minus 1. Those uh, which are in the bracket, you can see, are the replacement for x. And now, on calculation, uh, you can easily calculate it. Minus 2, uh, there is an odd power right here. And if the power is odd, if the power is odd, you can see one. You can keep one note right on on your copy. Otherwise, you have a calculator. Then you can you can apply your calculator. If minus one to the power or if the power is odd, then value of minus one to the power any odd number is minus one. Uh, if it is minus one 
to the power even if there is even power if it is even power then the value of minus 1 will be positive 1 in our question the 3 is odd power so it's minus 1 you can see and this is even power so it's plus isn't it it's dot plus 1 a dot plus 1 it is plus 1 now okay it is a little bit information to you minus now all those calculation 8 plus 5 that's 13 and 13 minus 2 11 11 minus 8 that means our answer is or 11 equal to a now therefore a is equal to another 11 uh, another uh, this is for uh, exercise for you okay just like previous example you can you can attempt all these questions exactly like previous example None of the questions are different or difficult. Now, in this question, you can see there, there is one root is 5 means uh, we have example, already studied about the root and zero subtracted from a polynomial this. We know what so is that one of the factor will be this. Now, we don't know what must be so subtracted. So, so value of e, then f5 is so the factor. Zero. One of the factors means uh, it is a root. This is a, this is a factor. Value. It is already a factor. So, there are three factors. So there will be polynomial because the degree of a polynomial is a value. There will be three We have to use f5 equal to now one of them is uh, x plus 2 so means if we divide this uh, this polynomial the given polynomial uh, not this given polynomial after subtracting something maybe maybe k we may suppose after subtracting k then that will be a factor this x plus 2 will be the factor of this polynomial after applying k let k must be subtracted from the given polynomial so our polynomial will be so fx will be 3x cube plus 5x square minus 5x plus 7 minus k uh, we have suppose that uh, k must be subtracted from the given polynomial so that x plus 2 will be its factor x plus 2 will be its factor uh, our linear divisor right, is x plus 2 equal to 0 we can equate it now then x is equal to minus 2 uh, which is a x is equal to minus 2 which is a now from applying factor theorem f a is equal to g now that is f minus 2 is equal to 0 because the value of a is minus 2 now all the x of function f will be replaced by minus 2 you can see or 3 now that's the value of x minus 2 cube or plus 5 now the value of uh, value of x now again the value of x plus 7 minus k is equal to 0 now we can easily find the value of k and it is just a matter of time if the power is odd and then the sign will be negative if the power is uh, even then the sign will be positive right here uh, or it's all calculation you can do it once also k is equal to 13 is equal to k therefore k is equal to 13 we can quickly move on these examples because it's a very simple uh, example and one example will be enough uh, okay now this sort of question will be given to you as an exercise a similar sort of question hence 13 must be subtracted from the given polynomial from fx fx is a given polynomial which is supposed to right here and that's the example exercise what must be added uh, what we have to do is uh, we have to suppose plus k must be added then our polynomial will be will will be exactly divisible divisible by x minus 3 now let's you can do it in, in, in instead of minus k you can use plus k now next one example 6 uh, if x minus m uh, is it's a factor of a polynomial you can see the polynomial uh, x cube minus mx uh, minus 4m plus m plus 12 uh, calculate the value of m it's a factor means uh, we can apply the factor theorem f m will be equal to 0 let's give a name to the uh, polynomial let's give a name to the polynomial let f 
x is equal to x cube minus m x square minus x plus m plus 12. Now this is our polynomial. Now x minus linear uh, linear factor. You can say linear factor is x minus 1 x minus m m and it can be we can equate it to 0 x minus m equal to 0 x is equal to m uh, it's x is equal to m is equal to a and applying uh, factor theorem f a is equal to 0 that means f m is equal to f and m is equal to 0 now all the x of function uh, polynomial f will be replaced by m we have to replace now you can see one by one m cube now it replaces x right now also m this is given in the position now this inside the bracket it's a replacement for x inside the bracket that is replacement for x all the x are replaced by m now easily we can find the okay now if you have any confusion right here then uh, it's a jerry saying what happened here he, he has a question what happened here okay. uh, as we already know and Tom already knows this thing oh I know this just replace x of polynomial f with x of polynomial f is replaced by m and exactly similar to function that's in function uh, there is input and output here here also it's the same thing m cube minus m cube is right here the m uh, these two m and m square makes m cube and minus 3m minus 4m plus m mix minus 3m plus 2 m so m cube and m cube got cancelled uh, we can use uh, 2 l is equal to 3m uh, uh, or 2 will divide by 3 divide, divide by 3 gives us uh, 4 1 ja that's 4 therefore m is equal to 4 the value of m is 4 now this question is also a very easy question now you can pause the video you can complete your work let's move to another uh, it's a try this x minus c is a factor of this then so that now these are the fairly similar sort of question we can do each and every question uh, quite comfortably now let's move to another example that is example 7 uh, here uh, we have to form a polynomial uh, where factors are given there are three factors means uh, we are forming a polynomial with degree 3 now so let our polynomial let the polynomial be fx and it's all about multiplication we have to multiply all these factors thorough multiplication we can say uh, x x minus 1 we use only these two last two factors first then whatever result will be there and then we multiply with x minus 1 now x minus 1 2x squared we break this we break this 2x plus 1 and we repeat x plus 4 uh, one factor must be bricked and one another factor must be repeated. So we choose x plus 4 to be repeated and we break uh, to x plus 1. Okay, now on multiplication, 2x squared plus 8x plus x plus 4 is a multiplication. And on for the simplification, 2x squared plus 9x, 8x plus 1 is, uh, is 9x. And x minus 1, so now again there are two factors and we uh, choose to divide x minus 1 and we choose to repeat 2x squared plus 9x plus 4 so on multiplication it is 2x cubed plus 9x squared plus 4x minus 2x squared now my, all the sign will be changed because there is a minus uh, minus sign minus sign changes sign now let's arrange the like term 2x cubed we don't have another x cubed Tom, so x square we have two terms 9x square minus 2x square and 4x minus 9x minus 4 so all those like terms are arranged they are kept together and on subtraction it is uh, I think plus 7 square it's a mistake here it's a mistake so it will be plus 7x square uh, here minus 5x minus 4 is our, is our answer this is our required polynomial therefore fx is equal to this so this is our required polynomial here also 
must be plus because 9 uh, 9 is positive the bigger number is positive so in this way you can construct a polynomial exercise will be there for you or oh, it's there is no exercise now example 8 if x plus 1 is a factor of polynomial fx uh, in k then find the remainder now this question um, it is asked to find the remainder but first to do find the remainder first we have to find the value of k and we can find the value of k easily because x plus 1 is a factor of a uh, given polynomial fx now let's start after finding value of x we can uh, put the value of k on this polynomial and then we can use remainder theorem and we can easily find a remainder now on solution here uh, given polynomial is this to find the value of k now first we have to find the value of k now linear division a linear factor we can say uh, it's a factor given in the question linear factor linear factor is x plus 1 and x plus 1 can be equated to 0 x plus 1 is equal to 0 x is equal to minus 1 x is equal to minus 1 that's the value of a minus 1 is equal to value of a now applying factor theorem we can apply factor theorem uh, f a is equal to 0 is our factor theorem f a is equal to 0 now so the value of a is minus 1 now a will be replaced by minus 1 equal to 0 and all the x of polynomial f will be replaced by minus 1 you can see on your screen now x cube now it is a replacement for x now again the replacement for x you can see square minus replacement for x plus k equal to 0 and now as we have already ah uh, here also there is a mistake it's power 3 but we have correctly written minus 1 okay it must be power 3 it's in minus 3 in position um, here everything is written correctly we can cancel this one and this one so value of k will be i think minus 1 and plus 1 got cancelled or minus 6 plus k equal to 0 or k is equal to 6 therefore k is equal to 6 now now to find a remainder to find remainder r are putting the value of k in fx Now k will be replaced by value 6 x cube minus 6 x square minus x plus 6. Now our linear divisor is this is a divisor, it's not a factor. X minus 2. So we equate it x minus 2 equal to 0 and x is equal to 2 equal to a. Now we can apply a remainder theorem. Now f a is equal to r. Now value of a is 2, so f2 is equal to r. Now all the x of function f will be replaced by a 2. Or you can see right here on the screen 2 cube, it's a replacement for x minus 6, 2 square, it's also a replacement for x and minus 2 plus 6 is equal to 0. And you can do the calculation 8 minus or all those calculations. After all those calculations, value of r is minus. So you can do your calculation on your own. So it's the value of my first. We found the value of k, and then we applied uh, that. Uh, we used that value on the polynomial, and what we did it is now we found the remainder. So we'll do another exercise. Try this. We have, you can try this question. Is the factor of polynomial this, and prove that x minus is also the factor. Of Normal. Now, after using, we can uh, we can find the value of a like uh, exactly like in previous question on example. Okay, let's move. Uh, okay, let's move to another example. Example nine. Uh, 
uh, you can see the question and you can uh, recognize also uh, this type of question and not this question exactly similar question uh, the type of question this type of question we have already done uh, applying Riemann theorem also uh, we have found the value of a and b there also so there are two factors and one polynomial let's see the solution uh, case 1 and case 2 is needed let fx we give the name to our given a polynomial x cube minus a x square plus bx minus 8 and x minus 1 case 1 and x minus 1 will be our, is our linear factor the first case factor is x minus 1 now we can equate x minus 1 to 0 x minus 1 is equal to 0 now value of x will be 1 that will be a that will be now applying factor theorem If it's a written factor, then we have to apply factor theorem. If it's written remainder, then we have to apply remainder theorem. So now f a is equal to zero is our factor theorem, and a is replaced by one. F one is equal to zero. Now all of the x will of uh, polynomial uh, polynomial f will be replaced by a. You can see in the bracket, uh, those are the replacement for x or one minus a on subtraction. You can see minus a plus b minus seven equal to zero. Uh, we take minus 7 to the right hand side minus a plus b is equal to 7 so b equal to 7 a plus 7 now a goes to right hand side now it's equation 1 it, we need this equation later on to find the value of b after finding value of a now case 2 linear factor is x minus 2 right now linear factor is x minus 2 x minus 2 is our linear factor that is x minus 2 is equal to 0 now x is equal to x is equal to 2 that's the value of a and now applying factor theorem once again and f a is equal to 0 now f2 is equal to 0 now all the value all the x of the polynomial f will be replaced by 2 so you can see 1 by 1 now you can see this is the replacement for x right now this is the replacement for x this is also replacement for x now on calculation 8 minus 4a plus 2b minus 8 so this 8 and this 8 8 and 8 now this 8 and this 8 is cancelled on next step you can see minus 4a plus 2b equal to 0 now putting Putting the value of b from equation 1. Now we, we replace this b in the right here. This b will be replaced by a plus 7. You can see on your screen minus 4a or minus 4a bracket 2 b a plus 7. Now it's a replacement for b. It's a replacement a plus 7 is a replacement for b. 2a plus 14 equal to 0 or minus 2a plus 14 equal, minus 14 equal to 0. 14 goes to right hand side and minus and minus and cancel 2 and 2 and 14 also got cancelled. A value of A is 7. Therefore, A equal to 7. Now putting the value of A on equation 1. The value of A on in equation 1. What we get is B is equal to now 7 plus 7. Value of A is also 7. So B is equal to 14. Therefore, B is equal to use of remainder theorem and factor theorem now there is a polynomial 2x cube plus 3x minus 3x minus 2 now we have to factorize this polynomial You can see on your screen now 2x cube now this 3x is broken into two parts 4x square minus x 2x minus x this 3x is broken into two parts you can see this 3x square is, is is divided as 4x square minus x square and minus 3x is divided as minus 2x minus 2 now this is a complex part now taking common uh, 2x cube plus 4x square and the common is taking two two terms 2x cubed plus 4x square we take two terms two terms and two terms and x plus 2 is common on all three terms 
So our remainder is 2x square minus x minus 1. Now x plus 2 um, bracket 2x square. Now it's a quadratic equation. So the uh, the number are 2 and 1. x plus 2 2x square minus 2x plus x minus 1. And we can take common x plus 2 2x bracket x minus 1 plus 1 x minus 1 bracket close x plus 2 and on bracket x minus 1 2x plus 1. Now this is our factorization and and there is there are lots of complications in this uh, this type of factorization uh, because uh, we may not exactly know how to divide this 4x square minus x square or 3x which way we have to divide so that we can get uh, our required answer uh, we can divide this 3x square as 2x square plus x square also isn't it that is also true but that does not lead us to correct factorization so uh, if we divide 3x square as 4x square minus x square only uh, only this will lead us to correct now this is a complicated process so let's see why we did this factorization uh, this is problems while factorizing let's see the what are the problems now one is difficult to break down terms that that, that will be the main problem we can uh, we can uh, we may not be able to break uh, the term properly we may we can break the term but in a way which will lead us to the correct factorization we may not do because 3x square 2x square plus x square is also 3x square uh, and another another problem is uh, of this type of factorization is uh, single method is not suitable for all questions and single way of doing is not suitable for all questions so if there is another question uh, then uh, the method or the style will be uh, different so to solve these problems uh, to solve this uh, riddle of factorization we introduce a new type of factorization new method of factorization with the help of synthetic division with the help of synthetic division we introduce a new method uh, a new way of, of factorizing this uh, cubic equations or apply that method that will be the example 1 a now factorize now this is the cubic equation uh, let's name it now first step is to name the polynomial as let fx is equal to that's our first step x cubed minus 9x square plus 26 x minus 24 now this is our no, we have to factorize this we will do by new method this is step 2 all possible factors now you may not understood what does all possible factors means uh, you will understood in a while of 24 now this number we have to apply use this number now there are all possible factors are plus 1 minus 1 plus 2 minus 2 plus 3 minus 3 plus 4 minus 4 not 5 is not a possible factor and 7 is also not, 9 is also not, 10 is also not, 11 is also not a possible factor of 24. Now let's see what does the box, what we have in the box is frequently asked question from a student that what they ask is what are the possible factors. Now we know factors isn't it, the factor of 24 uh, is uh, 1, uh, while well, we do factorization, uh, those numbers which can exactly divide the given constant. Isn't it? Those numbers are called the factors which can divide the given constant. Now, let's see, one also can divide, two also can divide, three also can divide, four also can divide, five cannot divide. Isn't it? Now, six can divide, seven cannot divide, eight can divide, nine cannot divide, twelve can divide, and all twenty-four also can divide itself. And when plus minus five is cannot divide twenty-four, so we haven't included as a possible factor. Now, let's see what is possible factor. Now, it's a twenty-four. Now, it goes by twelve. Now we can say 24 goes by 2L and 24 goes by 2 also. So 2L is a factor of 24. Now again, if we do by this, then 6. 6 can also divide 24. 
now again we go by 2 then it's 3 now we what we can uh, conclude is 24 can be divided can be divisible by uh, 1 2 3 and 4 also because 6 for the 24 here we don't have 4 but still uh, 4 can divide 24 and 6 can divide 24, 8 can divide 24, 12 can divide 24, and even 24 can divide 24. And they are the positive factor. And plus and minus sign is used because not only plus 1 can divide, minus 1 can also divide 24. And not only plus 2, minus 2 also can divide 20, 24. So all those numbers, uh, you can see those numbers uh, which can, numbers which can exactly divide at the given constant, that is 24 in our case, then they are possible factors. Now, step 2 is clear. Now, step 3. What's there in the key step 3? Now, we have to find root. Root means that that number, uh, that number, root or 0 of this polynomial, that number which acts, uh, which gives the value of this function 0. Isn't it? Root or 0 of fx from x is equal to 1 minus 1 we we start from 1 and then we con then we continue with minus 1 2 minus 2 dot 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 up to plus 4 up to we get the root okay if we get root on x is equal to 1 then it's okay we don't have to do for we don't, don't have to go further we don't have to check other other values okay now so don't get confused these are not the roots all possible factors are the not are not the root of polynomial now when we check we start from x is equal to 1 when x equal to 1 f1 is equal to it's not equal to 0 so well, we don't include include plus 1 now we go with minus 1 now all the x is replaced by minus 1 equal to minus 6 now this is also not equal to minus 60 this is also not equal to 0 so uh, 1 and minus 1 are not the root of the given polynomial. Let's see 2 uh, for 2 when x is equal to 2. Now 2 will replace all the x of given polynomial. You can see in the bracket the replacement for uh, x. This one, this one, this one equal to 0. Now x is equal to when x is equal to 0 the, for the value of polynomial will be uh, the value function value of the poly, polynomial f uh, the value of polynomial f sorry it's not a function uh, when x is equal to zero the the value of polynomial uh, is polynomial f is zero so what we can say is therefore dx is equal to x minus two is a factor of fx now when x is equal to two when when the root of the equation is x is equal to 2 now that it's the value of a isn't it now always our linear factor is constructed like this x minus a is our linear factor so value of a is 2 so x minus 2 is a linear factor you can understand in this way also or you can say here x is equal to 2 so x minus 2 equal to 0 we can equate linear factors so x minus 2 is equal linear factor to 0 then x minus 2 is a linear factor and then we can say if it is plus 2 x minus 2 if it is minus 2 it is x plus 2 sign goes sign will be changed now the equation is not completed yet just we found x minus 2 is a factor of fx now only one factor we need two more factors that is x minus 2 Applying synthetic division. A recap fx is equal to we have our fx like this x minus 2 is a factor of fx so x is equal to a. Now this recap is needed while applying synthetic division because we have to see the factor a co coefficient of x cube. Now coefficient of x cube is 1, coefficient of x square is minus 9. We, will, we can see and constant now a equal to 2. Now we can see on the recap uh, coefficient of x cube is 1 the value uh, and coefficient of x square is minus 9 coefficient of x is 26 and constant is minus 24 now as in the process the first uh, coefficient of x cube uh, will will go down 
unchanged. Okay, it will go down unchanged. So it's one now two into one. We multiply two and one, and the result will be written. Yes, it's two now on subtraction. There is plus n, but it will be subtraction minus seven. And again, two and minus seven will be multiplied. Two and minus seven will be multiplied, and result will be written here. Now result is minus fourteen, which is equal to now twenty six. So we can subtract it with two l. It's twenty four and twenty four plus twenty four minus twenty four plus twenty four. It is zero. Now our remainder is each remainder arcs is zero. Our remainder is zero. That's the coefficient of x square. Coefficient of x. Now this one is a coefficient of x square. Minus seven is a coefficient of x, and constant is two l. Q x is equal to now. How can we construct the Q x? Q x is equal to equal to uh, one times x square minus seven times x and two l. And now d x is equal to x minus two, and r equal to zero. We know this. For any polynomial, f x is equal to d x dot q x plus r, as it is a factor, so a value of r will be zero. Now x, we need two terms, that is four x and three x makes seven. Four x plus three x makes seven, so zero. We don't have to write zero regularly. Our x minus two, that that is our first, uh, that is we can say divisor or a first factor. Also. Now, on while well changing bracket, uh, we well well opening bracket, we have to be careful. This minus minus sign and this plus sign, and the sign will be changed because of presence of minus sign outside the bracket. Now we can take common inside the big bracket. X minus four is common, and a minus three is common. X minus four, over. x minus two, x minus three, and x. Okay. Now let's move to another example. One B. We have a polynomial six x cubed plus a x square minus ten x minus three, and it ha it has one of the factor x plus one. So we have to find all the two factors. Now first we use this factor and we find the value of a. Then we can actually uh, find all the factors of the solution. First thing we have to do is part one of the solution is to find the value of a, a given polynomial. Uh, it is already given as px, so linear factor is x plus one. Now that is x plus one is equated to zero. And x plus one is equal to zero, so we find the value of uh, a. X is equal to minus one, which is equal to a. Now this a, we know the value of a. Now uh, we apply the factor theorem. Apply factor theorem. Our factor theorem is p a is equal to zero. Now as the polynomial is defined. In the form p, so uh, we must write p a is equal to zero. In the previous question, you have seen f a is it's written f a is equal to uh, zero. Now, value of a is minus one, p minus one is equal to zero. I think up to here, up to this step, it's pretty clear to you. And now, or all, all the x of polynomial p will be replaced by minus one. So you can see the replacement, which is in the bracket. And the value in the bracket is the replacement for x. So it is zero on calculation. Minus six plus a plus ten minus three equal to zero. And furthermore, a plus ten minus nine equal to zero, or a plus one is equal to zero, and or a is equal to minus one. Now the value of a is minus one. We can put the value of a back on polynomial p x, and therefore a is equal to minus one. Putting the value of a, putting the value of a 
in equation uh, it's written one so you in equation one we get we get px is equal to now px will be 6x cube now value of a that is minus 1 x square minus 10x minus 3 now for the simplification px is equal to 6x cube minus uh, x square now here this plus and minus it will be minus and now we have the value we have the polynomial uh, px we have one of the factor also now how can we find the next factor uh, other two factors there are three factors because it is a cubic applying synthetic division now we have the value of a if you remember if you don't remember also there is a recap px is this a 6x cube minus x square minus 10 x plus minus 3 and x plus 1 is a factor so a is minus a. A is minus 1. A is minus 1. So applying synthetic division, we have coefficient of x cube and coefficient of x square, coefficient of x and constant. And A, we have value of A is minus 1 and coefficient of x cube is 6. Then 6, which, then coefficient of x square is minus 1, coefficient of x is minus 10, coefficient and constant is minus 3. And you can see the constant minus 3 and now this 6 will go uh, unchanged as it is 6 now minus 1 into 6 minus 1 into 6 that will be minus 6 and on addition between these two terms that will be minus 7 and minus 1 minus 1 into 7 minus 1 into minus 7 the value will be plus 7 and on addition between them it will be minus 3 and here we have to fill the value right there uh, it will be plus 3 now minus 3 plus 3 on the sum between them that will be j is our remainder now we have our remainder now quotient will be qx is equal to uh, 6 times coefficient 6 times x square actually then plus minus 7 times x plus minus 3 uh, that will be our quotient therefore qx is equal to 6x square minus 7 minus 3 6x square minus 7x and minus 3 is our quotient now for any polynomial you can say dx is equal to x plus 1 s and this is the dx and remainder is 0 now for any polynomial our polynomial px dx dot qx plus r isn't it so dx is x plus 1 qx is 6x square minus 7x minus 3 this is the value of qx this is dx and our remainder is 0 now what will happen is we can further factorize this qx uh, 6x square minus 9x minus 2x and now 6 3 is 18 product is 18 p is equal to 18 and as there is a minus sign so difference d is equal to 7 so that is 9 minus 2 so it is 9 minus 2 in this way we are we are factorizing it and on opening bracket the sign right here changes the student must be careful at that at the time you can see here we you know, we have to take common from this two term and this two term from first two term uh, 3x is common, 3x is common, and remaining is 2x minus 3, and plus 1 is common, nothing is common, means 1 is common, 2x minus 3 uh, is our remaining, so 2x minus 3 is common, x plus 1, 2x minus 3, and 3x plus 1 is, are the factor, so out of these three factors, this factor is already given, so the rem these are, these two are remaining factors, so we have another question, example 10, 1c, Let's see what's. Let's see how is the question. Now we have a polynomial which is uh, which is of degree four. Polynomial of degree four. Out of them, it has a factor x minus five, and we have to find other remaining uh, factors. Now solution. Now let let us suppose p x is equal to. Let us give the name to the polynomial as p x. Now uh, there is frequently asked question from a student how many factors 
does the given polynomial have? Now, how many factors does the given polynomial have? It has only one factor, and how many factor more? Uh, we are we we are going to find. Uh, so four is the answer, as it is the decided by the degree of polynomial. So degree of polynomial is four. That means there are four factors, and we have to find we have to find three more factors as we already have one factor that is x minus 5 and now let's move a linear factor is dx is equal to x minus 5 that is we equate with 0 that is x is equal to 5 is equal to now we apply synthetic division to find qx okay let's apply synthetic division our qx will be the degree of qx will be Okay, this is a question to a student. The degree degree of qx will be will be equal to three because the difference between the polynomial and its quotient will always be one. So our polynomial has degree 4, then its quotient will have degree 3. Then again we have to apply a synthetic division. So we can reduce again we have to find we can find uh, another quotient also. So let's do what so let's see what's happening. Coefficient of x4, then coefficient of x cube, coefficient of x square, coefficient of x and constant. So our now a is equal to 5, coefficient of x4, you can see on your uh, quotient px, you can see on your quotient px, coefficient of x4 is 8 and coefficient of x cube is minus 2, coefficient of x cube, coefficient of x square is 145, coefficient of x is 216 and our constant term is minus 45 and constant. Now this 8 uh, which is here will go as it is. Now we have to multiply a and it and write right here. That is 5 into 8 will be the product will be written 40 on addition that will be 38 on subtraction that will be 38, 38 into 5 and the value is 190 on subtraction actually 45 then again 5 into 45, the value will be written here. Now that will be 225. On subtraction, it is just 9. 5 into 9, 45. And it's written plus 45 here. And our remainder will be 0. Definitely it will be 0 because x minus 5 is a factor. Now our, let's see our quotient qx. qx is equal to. is coefficient of x no and plus 38 is coefficient of x square plus 45 is coefficient of x and 9 is our constant now qx is constructed by 8 times x cube 38 times x square 48 45 times x plus 9 and r equal to 0 uh, this is this is what we did right now uh, still we have more to do uh, we have to find uh, Three more factor. We haven't found even a single uh, another factor yet. Now this is the quick recap. Uh, Px we have Px also. We have Px uh, equal to and we have our Qx and R. Now we need this for any polynomial Px. Now it is constructed at dx dot Qx plus R. Now the value of dx. Then this is the value of Px. And value of dx is x minus 5 and qx is this. We don't have the value of r is 0. So now again, now again we can factorize uh, we can factorize qx. Now again, step one, we you we apply the same step. Uh, step one, qx is equal to 8x cube plus 38x square plus 45x Plus 9. Now all possible factor of 4, 9. Isn't it all possible factor of 9? Step second. All possible factor of 9. 9 are 1, 3 and only 9. 
we don't have any other factor any other number which can divide 9 a 4 can divide 2 can't also divide it will divide but it leaves the remainder exactly the division must be exactly so plus plus minus 1 plus minus 3 and plus minus 9 are the possible factor uh, are the factors which uh, are the numbers which divides 9 completely now now we have to check now we have to find root or zero of polynomial fx i think it's qx it's mistake polynomial qx our polynomial is qx right now we are using this part only we are applying uh, we are considering only this part so it is qx now we have to write start from a one uh, plus one but we didn't start from plus one we start from with minus three because uh, um, one thing i want to I'll, i would like to tell to student that you don't have to show all those uh, not equal to values okay you can just check on your calculator uh, on or on a rough side of your copy then uh, whichever whichever value sets whichever value makes the equation uh, zero or uh, you can use only that value here i checked with one uh, it was not equal to zero i checked with minus one it was not equal to zero then i checked with two not equal to zero three uh, two minus two not equal to zero then plus three also not equal to zero then minus three i checked with minus three and it's equal to zero so i can write only that value which makes the polynomial g now still it's not f it is q here it is q it is supposed that q so q3 is equal to zero so i think you understood it we don't have to show we don't have to show all those not equal to zero all those remainder okay we just picked which we can check on the rock and we can uh, we can show only the, that part of the solution where well, uh, it is equal to zero now therefore dx again dx we can use dx is equal to x uh, as uh, minus 3 uh, x is equal to minus 3 uh, as x is equal to minus 3 is the root of the polynomial like uh, qx so x plus 3 is its factor okay if x is equal to minus 3 then factor will be x plus 3 if, now this thing you have to understand uh, which i have explained earlier also x plus 3 is a factor of qx and now we have our factor also now we can again apply synthetic division to find the other two factors now let's move forward to another slide uh, okay that that is uh, x plus 3 is equal to 0 and x is equal to uh, we need a and x is equal to minus 3 which is equal to a now for that's in uh, for the synthetic division of qx our a will be minus 3 let's do again now there is a recap on which px is there and qx is there x plus 3 is the factor of qx and uh, and a is we have a also we have a, uh, we have qx also we need this qx and we need this a all right now now applying synthetic division again we have to apply we have to apply it twice we have already applied once now this time we have to start with coefficient of x cube because our polynomial is in uh in this degree of the polynomial is three uh, coefficient of x cube coefficient of x square coefficient of x and coefficient of uh, it's constant now constant now a is equal to minus 3 uh, coefficient of x cube which is 8 you can see it's 8 only now that's 8 x square is plus 38 is the coefficient of x square and plus 45 is the coefficient of x and 9 is constant so as I, we have already told the first value uh, first value will come down unchanged now you can see on the calculation now the value will be minus 24 right here and now on on addition it is plus 14 now it will multiply with minus 3 and the value is minus 42 you can see that will be plus 3 and here it will be minus 3 and on subtraction the remainder is zero this is our remainder this is our remainder and now tx now our quotient will be written at tx because qx is already represented to polynomial and given to the polynomial qx name is given to the polynomial or you can say qx is given to the quotient of px now for the quotient of qx let's write tx now it's coefficient of x square coefficient of plus coefficient of 
x plus coefficient of, uh, it's constant it's constant now are there tx is constant 8 times x square plus 14 times x plus 3 and dx is equal to x plus 3 r is equal to 2 for any polynomial qx now this time for qx qx is equal to dx plus tx plus 0 now we can further factorize it as 8 3 is a 24 8 3 is a 24 and we have to find two number which sum is uh, product is 24 and sum is 14 that is 12 plus 2 and furthermore now we have to take in from we have to take common from 8x square plus 12x now 4x is common between 8x square plus 12x so remaining is 2x plus 3 and 1 is common between 2x plus 3 nothing is common means 1 is common now 2x plus 3 4x plus 1 2x plus 3, 4x plus 1, x plus 3. Now these three are the uh, are the other factors of px. And the factor is x minus 1. And the fourth factor is x minus 5. Isn't it? 2x plus 3, uh, 4, 4x plus 1, x plus 3 are the other factors. And, and the fourth factor is x minus 4. Now this concludes our solution. And hope you understand. I think the same sort of question is given as exercise. Let's see. Yes, it is. Uh, exactly similar type of question you can see uh, you have to do in the similar way also let's move to another slide let's see our question example two solve it's now solved up now we did factorization now we can solve we can do solution for it we can find the root of the equation root of the polynomial we are going to find the root of the polynomial and now let's see the solution given equation is this we have to change this equation in the proper form because there are two uh, there are two uh, there are two product form there are two terms in the product form uh, we can say two uh, expression on the product form we have to multiply it now x minus 3 is divided and x square minus 5x plus 8 is repeated you can see this is be on multiplication x cube minus 5x square plus 8x now there is minus sign in front of 3 so we have to be careful minus 3x square plus 15x minus 24 minus 4x plus 2 as it is now our equation becomes uh, we uh, you can see let me show you I have this term and this term must be uh, this term must be added so it is minus 8x square and we have another uh, term this and this we have to do calculation between 8x plus 15x minus 4x which will be 19x and uh, sorry not uh, minus is not included and we have plus 2 minus 24 and plus 2 it will be minus 2 right here it's minus 2 now this is our proper polynomial let's give a name to it uh, step 1 let fx is equal to this and now we have minus 2 we have to find the all possible factor of in this step all possible factor of minus 2 which are 1 2 3 4 6 and 2 8 uh, doesn't 8 and 9 also 8 and 9 and 5 7 they doesn't divide 2 so, exactly so they are not included here uh, now let's check with 1 plus 1 minus 1 is it it now we have to find the zero for limit let's check with plus one minus one and we can write only that um, that value of x which makes the polynomial uh, zero uh, that is one so uh, we checked with one so in in our first item the poly the value of polynomial is zero uh, so uh, what will be our linear factor when x is equal to one our linear factor will be x minus one so up to now it must be clear to you then dx is equal to x minus 1 is a factor of fx. Now x is equal to 1, we have to find the value of a. Our a is, our a is a equal to 1. Now we have to apply synthetic division. Applying synthetic division, recap is uh, our given polynomial is fx, which is in this x minus 1 is the factor and x is equal to a. Now using synthetic division, coefficient, we start with coefficient of x cubed coefficient of x coefficient of and constant now our a is 1 so let's write the coefficients 1 for x cube is it nothing is there means it's 1 minus 8 
minus 8 for x square plus c it minus 8 plus 19 for x plus 19 and constant is minus 2 so minus 2 now as the first value uh, first value 1 will will go down unchanged it multiplies you can see that's the value is minus 7 minus 7 and on minus 7 multiplies with 1 that gives the value minus 7 and on subtraction it's 2 will and 1 into 2 will I think the value will be plus 2 will yes plus 2 will and the remainder is our 0 so it's a remainder now, now this 1 is the coefficient of coefficient of x is square and say minus 7 is the coefficient of x and 2 will is constant and our qx is constructed as qx is equal to 1 times x is square minus 7 times x and 2 dx is equal to x minus 1 which which we have here x minus 1 and remainder is 0 now for any polynomial now see our polynomial fx is expressed equal to 0 isn't it it's expressed as equal to 0 then we then now f for any polynomial fx is equal to dx dot qx uh, plus r. So our fx is also 0 and r is also 0. You can see fx is equal to 0. fx is also 0. Let's see our fx is 0. fx is equal to 0. We can write the value of fx as 0. Now see 0 is equal to dx x minus 1 we have and dx is x minus 1 x square minus 7 x plus and this is the value of remainder. Uh, we can further proceed at 0. Uh, here we have to factorize and we have to find two number which uh, which product is 2 well that is 4 and 3 and on sum that is 7 on this sign we will get changed to minus 1 after working the bracket now let's see or um, for the fact we have to take common from this two term that the x will be common and x minus 4 and from these two term 3 will be common minus 3 will be common that will be also x minus 4 now I think it's clear up to here now on next x minus 1, x minus 3, and x minus 4. These are the factors. Actually, this part is just a factorization. Okay, we have done this uh, up to this part. Now we have to do either or either x minus 1 equal to 0 or x minus 3 equal to 0. x minus 3 equal to 0 minus 3 equal to 0 either or else 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 x minus 4 equal to 0 x minus 4 equal to 0 or x is equal to you can see or x is equal to 1 or x is equal to 3 or x is equal to 4 x is equal to 4 these are the roots of polynomial fx therefore x is equal to Okay, let's move to another question. Uh, this question is uh, similar to the previous question. No solution. Uh, let's give name to the given polynomial x x cube minus 19x minus 30. Uh, that is, let fx is equal to let fx is equal to x cube minus 19x uh, minus 30 is equal to zero. Now we have to find the all possible factor of minus. 30. We have to find the all possible factor of minus 30. And then step second, let's see. All possible factor of minus 13. Now these are the all possible factor. 4 is not included because 4 does not divide uh, 30 exactly. Uh, there will be remainder. And 7 also is not included. 8 is also, 9 is also not included. And 11, no, 2 will, 13, 14 are not included. And other are also not included. Only these numbers 15, 2 is a 30, 10, 3 is a 30, 6, 5 is a 30, 5, 6 is a 30, 3, 10 is a 30. These are the Positive factor. Now we check uh, one by one. Uh, we start with when x is equal to one, or uh, let's see, f one is equal to f one is equal to one cube minus nineteen dot one. It's a replacement for x. This is the x. This is the x. My thought it's not equal to zero. We don't have to show this part also. We can show only that part which is equal to zero. And now let's try with x is equal to minus one minus two. Uh, we tried with minus 1, it is also not equal to 0. Then we tried with plus 2, it is also not equal to 0. Then we tried with minus 2. x is equal to minus 2. Now I think it's equal to 0. 
is equal to zero. Now x is equal to zero. That means x x minus two x is equal to minus two gives the value of polynomial zero. Means x plus two x plus two is our linear factor. So x plus two is our linear factor. Therefore dx is equal to x plus two. X plus two is a linear factor. Is a factor of polynomial f x. You can say linear factor or a factor of polynomial f x. Or polynomial f x right here. And now we have to find the value of a for synthetic division. X plus two equal to zero. Zero x is equal to, or you can say uh, directly if this is the value of a, isn't it? Uh, you can omit this step also. A is equal to a is equal to minus two. Now let's see our next. Like we have to apply synthetic division. There is a recap for it. Now x3 our polynomial is this x plus 2 is our factor and a value of a is minus 2 is everything we need in this slide. So we apply synthetic division coefficient of x cube, coefficient of x square, coefficient of x and constant. Now a is equal to minus 2. Now we don't have uh, x square term, so its coefficient will be 0. Uh, x square is missing. Tom back containing x square is missing, then its coefficient will be 0. Now let's see, coefficient of x cube is 1, nothing is there, means 1, 1, and coefficient of x square is 0 because the tom is missing. And let's see to make the, this part clear why coefficient of x square is 0. And the answer is uh, in the given polynomial, a tom with x square is absent. So its coefficient is zero. Okay, now don't get confused about it. Minus nineteen and constant is thirty. Coefficient of x is minus nineteen. Coefficient of x is minus nineteen and the constant is thirty. Now the one will goes uh, goes down one unchanged and it multiplies with minus two. And the value will be written here. That will be two and on addition. Minus two. This is minus minus two minus two minus two plus four plus sign, and it's fifteen and plus thirty. That's the zero. Remember it zero. Now this one is the coefficient of coefficient of x square. Now plus this is the coefficient of x. Now again this is the coefficient of. Uh, oh, this is a constant actually constant term. Uh, how our qx is constructed? Let's see. qx is equal to uh, 1 times x squared plus minus 2 times x and minus 50. Okay, dx is x plus 2 and remainder is 0. Uh, for any polynomial, fx is equal to dx plus q to r. We know this uh, very well. The value of fx is also 0. You can see fx is equal to 0. And then now uh, we have to factorize this x squared minus 2x minus 15. The two term number are 5x minus 3x. 15. Uh, in the next step, you can see r 0 is equal to x plus 2 x square minus 5x plus 3x. The sign changes plus 3x to minus 15 or x plus 2 0 equal to x plus 2 x square. x is common. Uh, we have to take common between x square and minus 5x. And the common is x, so x minus 5 is remaining, plus 3 is common between uh, 3x minus 15 and x minus 5 is remaining. So x minus 5 is common uh, from here and here. x minus 5 is common, so you can see, so x, x and plus 3, x minus 5 and x plus 3. Now we have to do either x plus 2 is equal to 0 or x plus 3 equal to 0, else x minus 2 equal to 0. Or x is equal to, you can see from here, x is equal to minus 2. And from this part, x is equal to minus 3. This is x is equal, and from else part, x is equal to 5. x is equal to 5. Now this is our answer. x is equal to minus 2, minus 2, minus 3, and 5. This is the solution for the given polynomial solution of given polynomial. Okay, let's move there.
four. Question is solved. Now it's it's given in a different way. Y we have y. The value of y is x cubed minus 4x squared plus x plus 8 and again value of y is 2. So we can replace the value of y as 2. Then we can construct a proper polynomial. Let's see given polynomial equation is. Now there are two equations. Uh, first equation is uh, this one and second equation is y equal to 2. I'm putting the value of y from equation 2 on equation 1. Now we substitute the value of y as 2. You can see on your screen. X now we can bring this to this side or 0 is equal to x cubed minus 4 minus 6. Now this is our proper polynomial. Step 1, let fx is equal to fx is equal to we give the name to the given polynomial and all possible factor of 6 are oh, sorry this 4 is not the possible factor. You should omit it. Now, now we have to find the root of polynomial. Now we check with the 1 and plus 1, it is not equal to 0, so we check with the minus 1 and let's see it is equal to 0 or not. So that's 0, so dx is equal to x plus 1 is the factor. If x is equal to minus 1, said, if remainder is 0 for x is equal to minus 1, and then x plus 1 is our the linear factor. Is a linear factor so x plus 1 is equal to 0 x is equal to we have to find the value of a you can write directly from here also x this is a so now let's move to another Slide and we have to apply the synthetic division as we have our remainder also x is equal to mine we have all our necessary function we have our necessary polynomial and value of a as a is equal to minus one now the coefficient of x cube coefficient of x square coefficient of x and constant a is equal to minus one now let's see coefficient of x cube is one nothing is here and that means it's one and coefficient of x square is minus four and that coefficient of x is also 1, nothing is here, that means 1 and constant is plus 6. A constant is plus 6. Now, this 1 will come down on a scratch, it's unchanged, isn't it? Now, 1 will come down as 1 and minus 1 into 1, the value will be written here. That is minus 1 and from adding those two, minus 5. And again, that is plus 5. And it's 6 and minus 6 and the remainder is 0 so remainder is 0 or the 1 is coefficient of coefficient of x square minus 5 is coefficient of x and 6 is our constant because 6 is our constant now qx is constructed as 1 times x square minus 5 times x and 6 constant x dx is x plus 1 and remainder is 0 for any polynomial fx is equal to uh, dx dot qx plus r or, or 0 f the value of fx is 0 it is solved 
x plus 1. Now we have to factorize this x squared minus 5x plus 6 as 3x plus 2x plus 6 bracket close or 0 is equal to x plus 1 which is our uh, first factor and x squared minus 3x we have to be careful here sign will be minus 2x plus 6 and or 0 is equal to x plus 1 and uh, x is common from x squared minus x square minus 3x and minus 2 is common from minus 2x plus 6. There is mistake. Uh, it must be 3. It must be 3. So x minus 3 is again common. Or 0 is equal to x plus 1, x minus 3 and x minus 2. So either or and else you can see either x plus 1 equal to 0 or x minus 3 equal to 0 else x minus 2 is equal to 0 now the value of x will be minus 1 and value value of x will be plus 3 and value of x will be plus 2 now these are the roots of polynomial fx now these are the solution x is equal to minus 1 3 and 2 and 3 this is the solution Procedure is same, and now we are doing just a different type of question uh, with same uh, same mistake or same uh, process. Now these are the examples, which after uh, doing those examples, you, you can easily solve these problems. These are the questions, and all questions, uh, all type of question we have already done. Now example 5, now we have to construct a poly polynomial in this uh, type of equation, 5 times the square of a number, let's suppose the number to be x, then we let's construct the polynomial, let the number be x, uh, let's construct the polynomial according to equation or construction of polynomial, uh, let's see 5 times the square of a number means 5x square it must be, 5 times the square of a number, 5x square is added to the cube of a number plus x cube it must be, x cube then it, it is 24 more than x cube it is then it will be 24 equal to 24 more than 2 times the number 24 plus 2x isn't it now this will be our 5x square plus x cube you can see on your screen plus 2x plus 24 24 plus 2x or 2x plus 24 now let's uh, simplify it furthermore x cube minus 5x square minus 2x equal to that. Now this is our proper a polynomial. From here, it's like all, all other question. Is it step one? We uh, give name to the we, we give name to the polynomial that is f x is equal to zero. We have to find all possible factor of 24, which we have already seen in previous question also. All these value divides 24 exactly. So they are the possible factors. Now we have to check with uh, uh, from it starts from one minus 1 2 minus 2 to 24 plus 2. now let's check with x is equal to 2 we have checked we already checked with plus 1 and minus 1 uh, i think plus 1 and minus 1 which is not equal to 0 and we check with 2 and it is equal to 0 so our linear factor will be x minus 2 because it's it, our linear factor will be x therefore dx is equal to x minus 2 when it goes with uh, 2 then linear factor will be x minus 2 plus 2 minus 2 if there is minus 2 it must be x plus 2 now this is a factor we have to find the value of a that is uh, 2 we already know this that is x minus 2 equal to 0 x is equal to x is equal to 2 is equal to a or a is 2 now in next slide we have to apply the synthetic division
when we have a recap in recap we can see this is our polynomial which is equal to 0 and this is the factor and value of a we need this now so this is the coefficient of x cube x square and constant and coefficient of x cube is 1 nothing is there that is 1 coefficient of x square is plus 5 and coefficient of x is minus 2 coefficient of uh, constant constant of is minus 24 now you can see the process you know the process very well so i'm going up pretty quickly now that's 24 that's the remainder now one is now one is one is coefficient of x cube now 7 is coefficient of x and 24 is our constant term. Now 24, 12, 12 is our constant term. Constant now how qx is created. Let's see qx is equal to 1 times x square. 1 times x square, 7 times x and 12. And that's how our qx is. Now we have dx also. dx is x minus 2 and remainder is 0. For any polynomial we know. For any polynomial dx dot qx is plus r equal to dx x minus the value of dx is x minus 2 the value of qx is x square plus 7x plus 12 and r is 0 and r is 0 or 0 equal to x minus 2 that's our first factor now we have to find two numbers that are 4 and 3 x square plus 4x plus 3x and bracket close plus 12 bracket close or 0 is equal to x minus 2 x square plus 4x plus 3x Plus 2. Now we have to take common from x square plus 4 and 3x plus 4. Let's see. Or x minus 2 is our first factor, big bracket. And the x is common, x plus 4. And plus 3 is common. And x plus 4, bracket close, big bracket close. Or 0 is equal to x minus 2. A bracket x plus 3, x plus 4 equal to 0. Now either or else. Isn't it? Now either x equal to 0 or x plus 3 equal to 0 else x plus 4 equal to 0. Now the value of x is 0 and the value of x is equal to minus 3. Value of x is minus 3. And value of x is minus 4. Minus 4. Now solution is 2 comma minus 3 comma minus 4. Now exactly the same type of question will be shown to you as an exercise. Can do that questions. You can do this question. You can form the number. Let the number be x. Now the, our, our polynomial will be four times square of a number, four times square of a number, number, and seven times of number are subtracted. Plus, if four times of square of a number and seven times, a seven times of a number are subtracted from cube of a number, subtracted from cube of a number. Is the front part must be uh, then which is equal to minus 10. Now this is our polynomial. Our, our actual polynomial will be x cube minus 4x square or x square minus 7x plus 10. 7x plus 10 equal to 0. Now from here we can do it easily. Okay. Let's uh, do another question. I think this is the last question for this uh, entire chapter. You can see the question on your screen. One of the root of the polynomial, this is the given polynomial, uh, is minus 1. The root is already minus 1. It's given minus 1. So this is the value of a, isn't it? a is equal to minus 1. And this is also the value of x. So when x is equal to minus 1, this polynomial, the given entire the polynomial gives the value of remainder. You can say, G. So let's give the name to the polynomial. fx is given as a name. Here one of the root is, uh, is minus 1, that is a equal to minus 1, that is f1 equal to 0. Now, if value of 
if we input a minus 1 to the if we give x is equal to minus 1 then it's, it will give the remainder 0 now we can apply uh, synthetic division synthetic division coefficient of x4 coefficient of x3 coefficient of x squared x and constant of our a is minus 1 so the coefficient of x4 is 3 coefficient of x cube is 22 coefficient of uh, x square is 57 coefficient of x is 62 and constant is 24 constant is 24 now th this 3 now will come unchanged we come down unchanged unchanged that's 3 and minus 1 into 3 minus 3 will be written here its value will be my plus 19 and minus 1 into 19 the value will be minus 19 subtraction from subtraction it is 38 then 38 into minus 1 it gives the value minus 38 that is 24 and 24 into minus 1 minus 24 and the remainder is 0 the remainder is 0 now let's see this 3 at qx is equal to now this 3 is the coefficient of x cube of x cube 19 is the coefficient of x square plus and 19 is the coefficient of x square plus that 38 is a, 38 is the coefficient of x it must be one less if it is 4 then it will be 3 3 then 2 x square then x and 24 is our constant plus 24 is our constant now how qx is constructed let's see qx is equal to therefore qx is equal to 3 times x cube 19 times x squared 48 times x and 24 are equal to 0 now again we have to apply synthetic division our remainder we have our fx given as this and a equal to minus 1 and qx now for any polynomial you can see fx is equal to x plus 1 qx plus r now we have the value of qx and the value of r is 0 so we, we don't have to write it again for qx now we only focus on qx our qx is 3x uh, 3x cube plus 19x square plus 38x plus 24 our focus will only be on qx is step 1 our qx is equal to this all possible factor of 24 all possible factor of 24 all possible factor of 24 r we have done it uh, several times uh, one, 3, 4, 6, 8, 12, and 24. They are the all possible factor. Step 3. Now we have to check for its written fx. Now it's actually qx. Now we check with plus 1. Now we check with minus 1 also. Now we check with plus 2 also. Now, but we can show only that uh, part of the solution uh, where uh, you can do in rough and only show those which is equal to 0. Now here it is equal to 0 to 0 so x plus 2 is a factor of lean x plus 2 is a factor of polynomial therefore dx is equal to x plus 2 x plus 2 is a factor of fx is a factor of qx in fact factor of qx qx now we have to find the value of a which is already we know it is minus 2 it is minus 2 but still we can find it therefore x plus 2 equal to 0 now you can see x is equal to minus 2 now again we have to apply synthetic division
is recap and fx is equal to this and we have uh, fx can be written as this and qx is this red part and it's x is equal to minus 2 we need this thing and applying synthetic division we can easily apply synthetic division coefficient of x cube of x square and uh, coefficient of x and constant of and a is equal to minus 2 now 3 is the coefficient of x cube you can see 3 is the coefficient of x cube 19 is the coefficient of x square 19 is the coefficient of x square 48 is the coefficient of x <coughs> and 24 is the constant constant value you can see now 3 will come now exactly 3 and unchanged now 3 will multiply with minus 2 and it will come as minus 6 minus 6 you can see minus 6 now on addition you will get 13 you can use calculator for it and if there is any risk of uh, making mistake then you can use calculator now that is on course we will get the value 2 will now this 2 will, will multiply with minus 2 and we will get 24 minus 24 get 24 and our remainder will be 0 and our remainder will be 0 which is 0 so remainder is equal to rx now our tx now what is this 3 this 3 is the coefficient of x square now it is the coefficient of x square now this 13 is the coefficient of x 13 is the coefficient of x and 2 will is constant of 2 will is constant of is constant so how our tx we have written tx because qx is already uh, given to the quotient uh, isn't it so for now the quotient of uh, polynomial qx when, when divided by x uh, plus 2 that is tx so now tx is 3 times x square and 13 times x and constant 2 will now let's move forward uh, dx is equal to x plus 2 and r equal to 0 you can see dx is equal to x plus 2 x minus 2 equal to 0 means x is equal to minus 2 means x plus 2 is our linear divisor or you can see it's a factor now for any polynomial qx now it's qx ton of qx dx dot dx dx dot tx uh, dx dot tx plus r now, now we have to factorize this part again in between it will be 9 plus 4 9x plus 4x because 9 plus 4 13 and it is 36 also product is 36 so on for the factorization the value on for the factorization you can see we took the common 3x from this two line and we took the common 4 from this two. okay 4 is common from 4x plus 2 with x for x plus 3 not that's our factor now it's our equation 2 we have already written equation 1 uh, from 1 and 2 what we found is uh, the value of qx can be written as now see this is 1 i think this part is 1 now this part is 1 then we can replace the value of qx as uh, this this entire x plus 2 3x x plus 3 and 3x plus 4 is qx isn't it so x plus 1 is already there so qx this part is qx this is qx part now fx is equal to 0 isn't it or fx is 0 we have to find to find the root we have to suppose that fx is equal to 0 the root is the value of x so either x2 plus 2 or x plus 3 and else 3x plus 4 equal to 0 and x plus 1 is equal to 0 it's already given it's already there. one of the root is minus 1 it's already given uh, still we, we can uh, we can write x is equal to minus 2 the value of x is minus 2 the value of uh, x will be minus 3 and value of x will be minus 4 by 3. How 4 by 3? 3x plus 4 equal to 0. x is equal to 3x is equal to minus 4. And then 3 will go to denominator equal to minus 4 by 3. 4 by 3. So it's 4 by 3 and x one of the root we know already x is equal to minus 3. These are the solution. X is equal to minus 2, minus 3, minus 4 by 3, and 1 is our answer. Uh, so hope you understand it. Uh, you can revise it many times. You can 
play the video many times and I think it will be clear to you now. Now thank you for watching, thank you for being with me and it is 2 hour 45 minute long video and hope you understand it is helpful for you for all the SE students and see you on next video.